In this presentation, we will assign costs to units using the weighted average method. In other words, we will assign costs to the work in process at the end of the time period and the costs to the costs that were transferred out of the department. The total of those two will equal the total costs that we need to account for. So we're going to use this information to assign the costs to units to determine the amount of the cost that is still in work and process for the department and the amount that was transferred out of the department out of the work in process here's what we determined in prior presentations we computed equivalent units of production so we have equivalent units of production with relation to materials and with relation to conversion notice this is in units and now we need to assign basically the dollar amount to them. We have units completed and transferred out of the department in June. The 5940 and the 5940 for materials and conversion. And then work in process for June being the 594 and the 297. And these then giving us the total. Once again, those in units, we need to get the dollar amount applied to them now. Then we had the cost per equivalent unit where we took the total dollar amount, we had the work in process at the beginning, dollar amount now, and then we had the costs added in the dollar amount. So these are the total dollar amounts that we have. We then need to take these amounts and apply them to, in essence, the units. The units completed and transferred out, the units still in work in process. The way we do that is we're gonna have the uh, calculation of the equivalent units. So then we took the equivalent units, we divided out the equivalent units here, the total equivalent units, and that gave us the 21 and the 15. These now we're going to take the units that we calculated last time. This, this, uh, we'll start off with this 594 for the work in process at the end, and the 297, and then we'll go to the 5940 and the 5940, uh, and apply them out using the cost per equivalent unit. So we're going to have the ending work in process equivalent units was the 594 units and then the 297 this is the ending work in process amount and then we have the cost per equivalent which was the 21 and the 15 in dollars units dollars if we then multiply those two out we get the 12474 and the 4455 and that adds up to the 16929 total then we're going to have the units completed and transferred out. And we have these numbers in units. Our first calculation, 5940, 5940. We'll take that and multiply it by the cost per equivalent unit, the 21 and the 15, to give us the cost of units transferred out. Multiplying the 5940 times the 21 is the 124,740. The 5920 times 15, 89,100. The 124,740 plus the 89,100 gives us 213,840. Uh, so this, this is going to be the amount then that's going to be in the ending work in process, ending work in process for materials and conversion in terms of dollars now, and that's the total. Then this is the amount that was units completed and transfer out in dollars, materials conversion total. If we add those up, we get the 230. 769 230 769 which should apply apply out to the total that we determined that we were going to calculate out in other words it ties out to our total costs so we already had our total costs now we used those total costs we used the cost per equivalent unit to apply out this total cost between the two segments the two segments of ending work in process the costs that are still in the department and the units completed and transferred out or the costs that were transferred out and then this of course will be our check figure which should tie out to total costs